Hi guys, if you just bought your Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL, here's the stuff you must absolutely do after buying. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay guys, I have to learn this. Probably the first thing you gotta learn is the new navigation. Now you'll only see the home button and you won't see the back button until you're actually in an app or when you need to use it. Now there's no more recent apps button. If you need to access your apps and switch, go ahead and just swipe up quickly and you can go ahead and switch to any app you have, all right? And if you wanna access your app drawer, simply go ahead and do a longer swipe up and you'll be able to access your app drawer. You can also swipe up like this and then do another swipe to access your app drawer. Now this is one of my favorite shortcuts uh, when I'm on Twitter and I'm on Chrome, I wanna go ahead and switch back and forth. An easy way to do it is simply go ahead and swipe to the right, swipe to the right from the home. And now you can quickly switch between two apps, between Chrome and Twitter. Chrome, Twitter, Chrome, Twitter. Um, This is probably gonna save you a ton of time it used to be just double tab recents. Now you can go ahead and do this and switch apps all day long. And believe me, if you don't know how to use this, this will save you a ton of time. If you want to get all the cool tweaks on your Pixel 3 or Pixel 3 XL, make sure you enable developer options. Go into settings, go into system, and go into about phone, and go ahead and scroll down to the bottom where it says build number. Go ahead and hit that about five times, one, two, three, four, five, until it says you're a developer. Hit the back button once and you will now have a new menu option called developer options. If you tend to transfer your files often from your phone to your computer, which I personally do, usually you'll have to swipe down and change the mode to file transfer. Uh, if you want to automatically connect as a disk drive, go ahead and go down to default USB configuration, set that to file transfer and that will automatically connect your phone as a disk drive. All right, while you're at it, um, go ahead and improve the UI performance. Go ahead and down to the animation scale. Change all of the animation from 1x to 0.5. This will give you slightly faster UI. You don't need it at 1x. It just slows the whole UI down a little bit. With that, your animations will be twice quicker and you're gonna be able to access your phone faster. All right, let's say you wanna quickly access a phone number, a website, for example. I can go ahead and simply point out there and go ahead and click on the website and boom shakalaka. I'm on the website. This works great when you're on your computer. For example, I'm on my Google Plus page. Let's say I wanna access it on my phone. Point your camera at the URL and boom shakalaka. Now I'm able to access my Google Plus page quickly and easily using the camera. All right, if you wanna get more information from it, simply take a photo. Go ahead and take a look at your photo and tap on the Google Lens icon and boom shakalaka. It's gonna to try to give you all the relevant information. So I got the phone number and Comcast. Also, if you wanna access your camera quickly, anytime, anywhere, go ahead and tap the power button twice and boom shakalaka. And this will work when your phone's off too. Boom shakalaka. All right, if you wanna take the best photos in low light, I do recommend having HDR Plus Enhanced on all the time. You can go ahead and go to More, Settings, go to Advanced, make sure HDR Plus Control is on, which is off by default. If you want to get RAW files when you take a photo, enable RAW Plus JPEG Control so you can do advanced photo editing. Also, if you want to save some space while recording videos, go ahead and make sure H.265 HEVC format is on. All right, that'll give you smaller files and also higher bit rates. Now with the camera, you get the widest angle out of the camera with the wide angle camera. In video, if you don't get the widest angle, it's not as wide. The reason is that video stabilization is on. If you're just sitting down like this, you absolutely really don't need video stabilization. So go to more, go to settings, go down to video stabilization, turn it off and go back. And now you can enjoy the full wide angle camera of the Pixel 3. Now, let's say I wanna take a selfie, but I'm eating a banana in my hand. I wanna be able to switch the camera from the front and take a selfie with my daughter, who's also has an ice cream and banana in her hand. Simply twist back and forth and boom shakalaka. You'll be able to switch your camera back and forth with just one hand. How cool is that, right? Now, for those of you new to Google products, there's actually three ways to access Google Assistant. The first is, okay, Google, right? What's the weather in San Francisco? That's a great way when you're in the bed and you wanna just find out the weather without getting up or picking up your phone. You can also squeeze your phone to access your Google Assistant. Also, you can go ahead and hold down the home button, which will also access the Google Assistant. All right, if you have a lot of spam calls and texts, go ahead and enable do not disturb and go ahead and hold down and you can go ahead and set your calls from your star contacts or from contacts only. That way you don't get spam calls. Um, also, you can even set that for the messages. So you only get messages from people you know, All right? This is a great way. Now, one of the coolest features, you can also screen calls on your phone. And let me go ahead and call myself right now. And let's say I'm getting a call. I don't know who this is. 
I want to go ahead and screen the call. So I'm going to hit the screen call. My name's Max. I want to talk to Max Lee. All right, you will actually be able to read. All right, it sometimes is not the most accurate, and you can go ahead and reply. To get a hold of them urgently. Yes, all right. And then you can go ahead and pick up your call Connecting and talk to the guy. Definitely a really cool feature that can save you time. Now your Pixel 3 is your personal assistant, literally. All right, next, make sure to set up your shortcut toggles. Go ahead and swipe down, swipe down, and you can go ahead and edit your toggles. I've added grayscale hotspot, and you can go ahead and rearrange how you like it. For example, I use my hotspot all the time. I like to put that at the top. Grayscales can save you a ton of battery life by running your phone in grayscale. So after that, when you swipe down, you're gonna be able to quickly access your grayscale. And when you run out of battery life and you don't need color, go ahead and put that on. That will save you a ton of battery life. Um, I wanna turn on my hotspot. Now I can turn it on quickly and easily. All right, next go to settings, system, gestures, and enable swipe fingerprint for notifications. This way you're gonna be able to control the notification panel with just one finger. All right, this comes in handy when you have a banana in your other hand. All right, if you have kids and you let them use your phone to play games, um, this is a great way so they don't mess up your phone. Go into settings, security and location. Go ahead and go down to advanced, scroll down to screen pinning and make sure it is on, all right? Now when you access recents, for example, let's say, let's say this Chrome browser is a game, you can go ahead and tap on it and pin, all right? Now when an app is pinned, you can't go anywhere else, all right? No matter what I try, all right? Even if I turn it off, it's gonna be in the same app, no matter what you do, until you press home and back button at the same time. All right, and that will get you back in the normal mode again. This also comes very useful when you hand your phone to strangers, make sure you pin your app, pin your window. Also learn to use multi-window split screen. It's really easy to do when you're on Twitter, in Chrome, let's say I wanna access the both at the same time, maybe I'm copying and pasting something. Go ahead and go to your recents, go ahead and hold down the app and go into split screen. All right, and then go ahead and choose your next app and you're gonna go be able to resize it and copy and paste stuff and use two apps at the same time. All right, this is a standard on all Android phones, but if you didn't know, definitely one of the most useful features. All right, if you use your phone at night in your bed before going to sleep like myself, you may wanna turn on night light mode on. It basically warms up the screen of your phone. It's gonna allow you to get better sleep and it's also much easier on your eyes, especially if you wear glasses or contacts like myself. Now go into the night light settings. If you wanna make this turn on automatically so you don't have to turn it on manually, I do recommend and turn it off from sunset to sunrise. Okay, I forgot one more thing. If you want to get rid of the notch, go back to developer options and go ahead and choose hide for device cutout. This is for the Pixel 3 XL only, which has an ugly notch, All right? So make sure this is hiding. That way you'll be able to get full notification panel, which I do it. I don't care about the notch, but this way I get the full space up here for notifications. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up for me. Share it with others who just got the Pixel or Pixel 3 XL so they know these features actually exist. Have a great day, and as always, stay on Pixel 3. Click here to subscribe, to subscribe, to subscribe, to subscribe, to subscribe. To subscribe, 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 to subscribe.